Hi students, in this video we are going to learn exercise number 8.1 question number 7 between which two whole number on the number line are the given numbers like that's the first question which of these whole numbers is nearest to the number which of these whole numbers are nearest to the given decimal number they are asking first question 0 0.8 the given decimal is 0 0.8 0 0.8 is comes in between which two number we have to find out 0 0.8 will come after the 0 before the 1 so 0 0.8 will come here so if you draw 10 lines the 8th time 8th line will be the 0 0.8 so we can write it it will be lies between 0 and 1 so to find the nearer number it will be definitely it's nearest to 1 only Children, you can keep it in your mind for 0 to 1, the point 0.5. 0 0.5 is a middle number. If the number is coming after the point 0.5, it will be nearest to 1. Less than the 0 0.5, it will be nearest to the 0. We can keep it in our mind. 5.1. So, 5.1 is a number will come after the 5. Because after the 5, only 5.1 will come. 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, likewise it will go. After 5.9, 6 will come. Now 5.1 is comes in between 5 and 6. In which number it is nearest they are asking. 5.1 will come immediately after the 5. So it is nearest to 5 we can say that. Since it is less than 5.5. Because 5.5 is a middle number. It is coming less than the middle value. It will be nearest to 5 only. 2.6. So 2.6 is a number coming after the 2. After the 2. So here. After 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, likewise it will go. So, 2.6 will come in between. 2 and 3 we can write. Now, which number is nearest they are asking. For 2 and 3, the middle value is 2.5. So, this 2 points is comes after the 2.5. So, we can say that the number will be nearest to 3. Because this is my 2.5, the number which comes in more than 2.5 will be goes to 3. If it is less than 2.5, it will be comes to 2. That is the pattern. Likewise, we can try the remaining sums. So, here comes our 8th question. Show the following numbers on the number line. So, look at the number 0 0.2, 1.9, 1.1, 2.5. So, the, all the numbers are less than 3 only. More than 0 and less than 3 numbers only given. That's why I have drawn the number line from 0 to 3. So, between the 0 to 1, we will be getting 10 small lines. By looking at the small scale, you can understand 10 small lines will be there. Like that here also 10 small lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, here the first number, this is 0 means this number will be 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So, this is your 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Then 0 0.6 like that it will go. Then it will be reaching 1. So this is your 0 0.2 the second line. From the 0 the second line is 0 0.2 we can say that. Next one 1.9. So after the 1 we have to go 9 lines. Or before the 2 we can take the first line. It is called 1.9. So 1.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is the value is 1.9 you can go from the 1 or less than 2 it will be the only one digit back that is 1.9 1.1 so after the 1 immediately the next number will be called as 1.1 so this is your 1.1 then 2.5 2.5 will come exactly in between 2 and 3 so this will be the 2.5 fifth line from the 2 1 2 3 4 5 2.5 will be this one so like this only we have to draw So here, ninth question, write the decimal number represented by the point A, B, C, D on the number line. So A point we have to find out. So what we told in the beginning, after 0 we will be getting 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, this is 0 0.8. So A is the value 0 0.8. So here B, after 1, 1.1, 1.2, B will be 1.3. Now here after the 2 C is coming after 2 first number will be 2.1 C will be 2.2 so here D is coming before the 3 that will be 2.9 we can say that or from the 2 we have to count it 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8 and this is 2.9. 
so from 2 we can calculate or from 3 we can minus 1 both are same only like this only we have to write so look at the 10th question the length of Ramesh notebook is 9 centimeter 5 millimeter what will be its length in centimeter they are asking so first our given question is 9 centimeter 5 millimeter is our problem now this one so we know that 10 millimeters together will form 1 centimeter now 1 millimeter equal to what means that 10 will be going to that side 1 by 10 centimeter so 1 millimeter equal to how much centimeter means 1 by 10 centimeter now here 1 millimeter value we know that but in our question what we got 5 millimeter so 5 mm 5 millimeter equal to we can write it 5 by 10 1 means 1 by 10 5 means 5 by 10 centimeter so 5 by 10 what is the value means we can say that 0 0.5 0 0.5 centimeter that is the correct value now here this is a question that can be written as 9 centimeter plus 5 millimeter we can write it now the millimeter we are going to change it into centimeter 5 millimeter equal to how much centimeter we got it here already 0 0.5 centimeter so 0 0.5 centimeter now 9 plus 0 0.5 will give you 9.5 centimeter that is your correct answer because 9 can be written as 9.0 so 9.0 plus 0 0.5 will give you 9.5 that is your final answer. We will move on to the B problem now. B question. The length of a young gram plant is 65 mm. Express its length in centimeter. We know that 1 millimeter equal to 1 by 10 centimeter. So 65 millimeter equal to what they are asking. So 65 millimeter equal to 1 means 1 by 10. 65 means 65 by 10. 65 by 10 centimeter we can write it so dividing by 10 will give you one decimal point so 6.5 centimeter is your correct answer so young plant young gram plant is 6.5 centimeter we can write it that's all students thank you for watching if like our video subscribe our channel for more videos